Hello. So, this is the end of week 11 of my preoperative diet journey on my way to bariatric surgery sometime, hopefully. Um, I, so last week, or I started at 297. Um, it's my highest recorded. Uh, last week I was 235. And then today I weighed in at 230.5. So I feel pretty good about this week. I was nervous because I've been increasing the amount of food that I've been having. And still no processed carbs, still sticking to um, chicken, vegetables, a little bit of eggs, some other meats. But I feel a little better and um, I'm still getting the weight loss results. So I'm going to keep on that course for a while. Oh, and I forgot. So this is how I normally look. I actually, I take my glasses off for the videos because they have this weird glare effect. Um, so one thing I wanted to mention, I'm not going to talk much about it, but uh, I have been seeing a therapist since, I don't know, December, which is a new thing for me. And I would highly recommend it to anybody who is considering or has had or is having bariatric surgery. Um, and make sure to find one that is supportive of your choice to have bariatric surgery. But it's so important to explore your emotional relationship with food. Um, while I'm surely not saying everyone has that issue, a large portion of people who are heavily overweight have some sort of emotional attachment to food. And I certainly do. Um, I eat when I'm bored, I eat when I'm hungry, I eat when I'm not, I eat I'm sad, blah, 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 um, and seeing a therapist has been a very long and drawn out process, it feels like, and, but it has been helpful, it's been slowly helpful, and I think that it'll be important to, um, my end goal, to maintaining to success in the long run. I just want to mention that, and... Uh, be a proponent of it. Uh, sorry, this is so short. Um, this is the third week that it's going to be really short. And um, actually, I think I'm just going to stop apologizing for it being so short every week because um, it's, it's better to update every week, and when I get really busy, if I have to make a long one, I don't necessarily do it. Besides, you guys don't want to hear me blah, blah, blah on about absolutely nothing. So, I will continue to update every week to the best of my ability. Short or not short. Thanks for watching. Uh, da, da, da. No, I'm not done yet. I have a list, that's why I'm going to keep looking down. So, new things. Uh, my clothing is fitting better. Well, new clothing is fitting better. My old clothing. This is the only shirt. Okay, that's not even true. This shirt used to be mine and then didn't fit and then started fitting recently. But um, I got blood drawn today. See? Be nice to me. I gave blood today. Um, and I had to have short sleeve shirt. And I've got t-shirts and I've got sleeveless shirts, but I was giving blood in the middle of the work day, so I had to have a professional-ish shirt. Um, they're not really strict, but I have to have some sort of collared shirt buttoned down um, or something similar. And this was the only one. I have nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with this shirt, but I look in my closet and I have about three shirts that honestly fit me. Um, I don't want to spend a lot of money, but 
I was wondering what some of you did for clothing, if you found certain things worked. Um, I need to find a thrift store that has a decent plus size section. I'm in about a plus size 18, normal size, I don't know, I haven't honestly tried them on. Um, but yes. And actually when I, because I gave blood, I had to add on some weight onto my, I, I added a pound for the lost pint because my body will, will replenish it real soon. So I don't want to artificially go down a pound. Um, it went well. The, actually, probably I could not have done it two months ago. They, they said, you know, you're a great candidate, but the lady took, like, she seized my arms, said, you have no veins, you have none, you have no blood. Um, and the other, the other nurse, um, she was much more gung-ho about it, and she's like, oh, you're mine, I have, I, I've got this one. She, she took the needle, and she, poked at it and did the blood pressure cuff thing to make the veins pop out and then she went one two three stab um so if it was that much of an ordeal to find a vein now after 60 pounds lost i don't know that i could have donated blood two months ago that never occurred to me um but i'm glad i did um oh another accomplishment so i tried this week I tried jogging for the second time. Jog, walk, jog, walk, jog, walk. And it was good. It was really, really tiring. I mean, it was days ago and my legs hurt, but um, it's a good step. And then the next day, for some reason it was the next day, bad choice, I decided that I was going to walk from one doctor's appointment that I had, actually the therapist appointment, to the Weight Watchers meeting that I've been attending as part of my preoperative diet. And I got lost. I took a left instead of a right and just went da 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 da, I kept going, didn't notice. And I found my way eventually, but I was wearing a pedometer and I walked 18,101 steps that day. I was so tired. So tired. But I felt, I'm glad I was wearing the pedometer because I wasn't sure how far I actually went or how, how much I actually did. I didn't know if it was just my perception. Um, but that's a lot for me. That is a lot for me. And actually, I should check today's here privacy screen. Um, I have walked 9,124, which is not as much as um, the day that I went walking, or I'm sure the day that I went jogging if I had recorded it, but that's just a work day, so I feel pretty good. Um, as long as I can keep this up and uh, use the momentum that I get and keep going. Um, oh, little plug. Uh, if you're going to have a pedometer, this is an awesome one. Oh. There you go. Um, it's Omron, some sort of brand, I don't know. I found it at Long's, and what's awesome about it is you can put it like this, or 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 this. As long as it's not flat, there's certain degrees and stuff, but basically you can slip it in your pocket. Um, if you're female, you can slip it other places, or if you're male and wear undergarments. Um, so it's really convenient. Um, I, I couldn't stand wearing the pedometer on my belt, especially when I when the pants are tight and then it digs in and you're like, ugh. So, um, this was not too expensive, and it was much more pleasant. And my short video update has turned into a really long one, so I will say goodbye and thank you for watching.